Hello everyone, welcome to another live stream. Thank you so much for joining me. I can see we've got Claire here already, Perry. Hello, thank you for joining. So good to have you here. We've got some amazing images that we're gonna be editing today with Quest 10. Hey Lauren, hey Brooke. We'll, uh, we'll kick off the stream shortly, but do jump in the chat if you are here. Let me know you're here. Also, let me know if this is your first stream. Hey, Brindy. Zoe, we've got loads of people here. This is awesome. Lise, hello, hello. Thank you so much for joining everyone. I'm Liam, for those of you who don't know me. I'm one of the developers for Archipelago. And the set we're gonna be taking a look at today, Quest 10, was actually developed by me. So I'm quite excited to, uh, to showcase this set. Zoe's first time here, welcome Zoe. I'll run you through uh, what to expect shortly. These are the images we're gonna be editing with today. We've got these 10 incredible photos we're gonna be using to edit with Quest 10. Claire thinks it's also her first stream. Oh, nice, you've been watching the replays, Claire. Thank you so much. But great to have you here live. Adam, hello, my friend. So I'm staying hydrated. I had, um, I had a pizza just before this. Um, it's like nine o'clock, 9 p.m. in the UK, which is where I'm based. So I had pizza for dinner and it was the saltiest thing ever. So I'm just trying to stay hydrated so I don't get a gravel voice. So uh, let's just run through a little bit of how this is gonna work. So you can see the images I've got on screen here. Up in the top left of each of these thumbnails, you're gonna see a number one through to 10. And as we kick into the stream, you can let me know which image you want to see edited next, uh, just by throwing the number into chat and let me know which one you want to edit next and I'll jump in and do those in the order that you want to see. We'll start off with number one anyway so I can show you the set, but let me know what you'd like to see edited after that. And it wouldn't be a live stream if we didn't give away a coveted Archipelago Quest mug. So do stick around till the end of the stream. We'll be announcing someone to win this. All you need to do to be in with a chance of winning is be here, throw some stuff in the chat as we go through, uh, if you've got any questions, you can throw those in there. Any comments about the edits, anything at all, interact and we'll be choosing someone to win one of these incredible mugs at the end of the stream. Very exciting. We're also gonna do a sneak peek of next month's quest set, Quest 11, and it is an incredible set. So again, stick around, we'll look at that at the end of the stream. So we'll dive in in just a moment. But have a think, what images would you like to see edit as we go through this? Uh, just throw those down in the chat as we go through. But like I said, if you have any questions, do feel free to ask those in the chat as well. So if that's a question about you know, an editing technique, a particular, a particular preset, anything like that, you can throw that in the chat. We'll try and get that answered as we go through. Got a couple of our uh, admin in the chat there as well to answer if I can't answer or if I miss your question. So just throw them in there. So as I begin to edit, you're gonna see the photographer's name up in the top left here. And I've also got the uh, EXIF data visible there. So you can see what the capture settings were, what the lens was and all that kind of stuff. So do check that out. But let's start off by just taking a look at the set. So Quest 10 is an X-Film special edition. It's an extension of the X-Film set. Um, so X-Film brings those filmic vibes. It's all about expired film tones. Um, so you get those kind of filmic tones, you get those crushed shadows, uh, crushed highlights, um, and it's a set that is really, really popular. So with Quest 10, we've extended that set and uh, we've brought four brand new presets and a new profile, along with a little tool in there as well. So the expired uh, film tones are there, but what you'll find when we start editing with these is it's a bit of a cleaner look to begin with. 
um, so it doesn't have quite as much of that crushed shadow and highlight, but I've thrown a tool in there called Expired Film Tone that will give you that look if you want it. Uh, but we've also got a new pull push profile as well. So we'll go through that in just a moment. So let's start off with this image. Really, really gorgeous photo here from Rebecca. So I'm just gonna bring up the exposure a tiny, tiny little bit. And I'm just gonna bring the warmth up a touch there as well. And then let's take a look at the set. So there we go, one click with AQ101 X-Film SE. Get those really nice warm tones. The greens in this particular preset look great as well. Desaturated blues. Super, super nice. Let's take a look at AQ102. So this one's a little bit of a cooler toned uh, preset. So you get the blues in the mountains and in the water there behind the couple, but you still get that nice rich warm tone in in the skin tones and in yellows as well. So nice amount of uh, contrasting colors in the shot there. And then we have AQ103, which has a little bit of like a magenta toning, a little bit of sort of like a rose tint to the highlights. Uh, looks really, really flattering. Again, really nice skin tones throughout this whole set, uh, but a little bit more desaturated blues in this one as well. And then of course we have a black and white AQ104, which is a nice neutral looking black and white, a slight green slash yellow tone to that as well. So it goes nicely next to the two black and whites in the X-Film set. So you've got a lot of diversity here. So if you're a big fan of X-Film, you're definitely gonna love this set. And if you're completely new to it um, and you're enjoying the Quest uh, 10 set, then definitely check out X-Film as well. You're gonna love that. So along with those, we've also got the expired film tones. So this gives you that look that the character profile in X-Film gives. Uh, so you don't miss out on that by using these presets. You can simply choose a preset, add that expired film tone to it, and you're gonna get that crushed sort of look that you get from expired film. And then we've got two uh, grain options. There. We've got pushed grain and pulled grain. So the default grain sort of sits in between the two. Uh, pushed grain is a heavier, uh, more rough grain, and then we have pulled grain, which is a little bit more of a subtle, gentle texture to the image. Cool, so thank you for the comments so far. Keep adding those in there, I'll catch up shortly. So for this, let's do a color edit, and I think I'm gonna go for AQ10 2, uh, just because I like the way that it's rendering the blues in the water behind them and the mountains in the background there as well. So let's go for that. And then what you're gonna see is up at the top right, we've got the pull slash push profile. Now what this profile does is it emulates the look um, of pulling or pushing film, which is a development process when you're using actual film. Uh, basically pushing film will result in uh, more contrast, uh, heavier grain, uh, and more texture to the image. Uh, while pulling uh, film, when you develop it, will render less contrast, you'll get a bit of a softer look to it. Um, and you'll also get less grain as well. So that's why we've got the pushed grain and the pulled grain options in the set there. So as default is set to 100, it's a nice middle ground between the two. We can then choose to either push, which is gonna add more contrast. Uh, it's gonna give more clarity to the image as well. Or we can pull, and that's just gonna bring those highlights down, lift the shadows up, and we just get a bit of a softer look. So if you like that kind of soft tone in, you can pull. Um, if you like a little bit more contrasty look, you can push. So for this, I'm gonna pull a little bit just because we've got quite uh, a lot of contrast um, just in the raw file because we've got this light coming in from the side. So I'm gonna pull and just bring up the shadows, bring down the highlights a tiny touch. And then we'll take a look at the expired film tone. So what you can see there is it's just gonna crush the shadows, crush the highlights, and just give that really, really nostalgic film tone to the image so for this I think I'm going to leave it without but it's a really nice option to have so if you like the character profile in X-Film and obviously now you're going to be using the pull push in this set you can still get that look by applying the expired film tone and then for this I'm going to go for uh, pushed grain so we're going to add a little bit more grain in there so if we go ahead and zoom in uh, you can see we've got that nice sort of rough texture to the uh, to the grain so it's a bit stronger than the default and then of course we've got pulled if we want to go for something softer which looks like that but here's the side by side. Super easy edit. What a gorgeous photo to start with, uh, but incredibly easy to edit. We've basically just done one click of the preset after we've adjusted the uh, exposure and the temperature. 
And then we've just decreased the profile to the pull side and we've added pushed grain. So there's before and there's after. Cool, so we're away. So I definitely saw the number seven being thrown in chat quite a lot. Let me just have a little bit of a catch up with your comments. Let's have a little look. So seven was definitely a popular choice. So we'll take a look at seven next. Uh, 10 was also thrown in there as well. Let's have a little look. Totally in love with all of them. Makes one to edit the wedding. <laughs> yeah, yeah. sorry about that, Lauren. Uh, nice. Different grain options, yeah. Oh, nice. Thanks, Brooke. Out of all the quest sets, 10 is my all-time fav favorite so far. Thank you very much. That makes me incredibly happy. I think it's actually my favorite uh, preset that I've ever made um, or collection of presets that I've made so far as well. I've been throwing it on absolutely everything um, and they're definitely good for a very diverse range of uh, situations. So let's dive in and let's just get rolling. We've got number seven next, number 10 after that. Throw in which number you'd like to see um, after those two and we'll start rolling through these edits but let's jump into number seven so i've got this incredible portrait in the woods here this gorgeous light and a bit of mist rolling through there as well super dramatic love this i'm just going to bring the exposure up a little bit here and maybe a tiny touch of warmth not too much because i like the uh the moody look we're getting there so somewhere around there and let's take a look at the presets so that's aq101 aq102 AQ103, and then of course the black and white. Now, I think hmm, it's either going to be two again or it's going to be the black and white. So let's go black and white. So AQ104, this is the black and white preset. We've got that nice, sort of very, very subtle green slash yellow tone in uh, to the highlights in the image here. So again, we've got the pull push black and white profile here. It's set to default in the middle, so we can pull or we can push and I think I tend with a lot of black and white images to prefer a bit of a contrasty look um, so I find with this set I'm pushing the black and white almost all the time unless it's a really contrasty image already so definitely going to push it on this one and uh, let's have a look at the exposure I think I'm going to bring that time a little bit and I'll tell you what I might do for this let's head into the quest tools essentials and let's use atmosphere we go for atmosphere three so this is the uh, the free toolkit, uh, Quest Tools 02 Essentials Toolkit. This has got loads of good stuff in there. If you haven't already seen this and you are subscribed, um, you can download this for free at any time. Um, so this has got lens corrections in there. It's got some uh, grain options and then atmosphere tool, which just basically adds a soft haziness um, to the image. So let's go for, I think I might go for atmosphere two, somewhere in the middle. So just soften it up a little tiny bit. That looks pretty good to me. So here's before. And here's after, and that's with AQ104. We've pushed the profile all the way up, and I've just used the atmosphere tool in the Quest Tools 02 Essentials Toolkit. Super nice. Here's the uh, before and after side by side. And let's go ahead and zoom in so you can see in a little bit more detail there. So while we're here with this uh, particular shot, let me show you the uh, the other toolkit, this month's toolkit, which is included with your Quest subscription this month, which is Quest Tools 03 Dust and Scratches. So this is a little toolkit that I created. I've been wanting to do something like this for a little while. Um, I absolutely love film. I love shooting film, but I also like to have that filmic look on my digital images. Um, so that's kind of something that obviously this set gives with that expired film tone. Uh, but also with the dust and scratches um, tools, you can add even more of a filmic look by adding some dust and scratches to your images. Um, so we've got 10 unique dust and scratches. These are actually emulated from real film. So basically I took actual film scans um, from film that I've shot and I basically hand drew over all the dust in the shot to create these. Um, so you get these kind of really realistic looking uh, layers right here in Lightroom, which is amazing. So you don't have to throw your image into Photoshop and apply an overlay. You can do it right here in Lightroom. 
So a quick note on these, uh, because it is in Lightroom and obviously it's working with a raw file, so these are huge amounts of data in the raw file. Um, when you apply these, you're gonna find that your system, depending on your system, might slow down a little bit as you apply them. So as you hover over the, uh, the presets here, it might take a second for it to render. Uh, and then when you click it, it might take a second for that to render, especially uh, like uh, DNS 10, DNS 8, because they've got quite a lot of detail in them, which you'll see in a little while. But let's go for one of them on this. I'm probably gonna go for this one actually, DNS02, and I'll, uh, I'll show you what that's done. So we'll go ahead and zoom in down here. So we've got this nice bit of uh, sort of scratchy, scratchiness down here and on the edge, you've got little bits of dust as we go through. You can kind of see it over here as well on the edge. Um, so it gives a really, really nice look. The, the dust tends to be around the edges. It's not typically uh, in the middle or there's not very much in the middle, so it shouldn't um, cover your subject. But if you ever find that it does, uh, you can now go into the new uh, set here where you can see the, uh, the masks. So now that we've applied DNS2, you can actually see the masks here. You can select it and then you can use the brush tool to remove it um, from any area of your image uh, if you need to. But you will find that typically it's applying around the edges so it shouldn't cover your subject if they're sort of towards the middle of the frame. And what's great as well, if you are on the latest version of uh, Lightroom or Adobe Camera Raw, you can actually layer these. Um, so when you apply go ahead and apply another on top of that as well. Um, on older versions, when you apply uh, another tool of the same kind, it replaces the first one, but on um, with the new mask layering, you can actually layer multiple on top of each other. Kara says, I love the dust and scratches so much. Thank you, Kara. Glad you're enjoying them. DNS 8 and, and 10 are my faves, there's Car Carla. Nice, yeah, they're two of my favorites as well, and I really as well, which is a little bit more subtle, um, but yeah, I quite like that one as well. I think that's probably my favorite, DNS 09. Uh, but let's carry on with the edits. So that was Quest 10, preset four, and we've also applied Dust and Scratches 02 to that one as well. So let's head back. We're gonna go ahead and do 10 next. Um, I don't know if I've seen any other numbers being thrown in there. Uh, boo, 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 boo. Number five is black and white treatment. Uh, car SS3, let's have a look. Okay, so I think three is next. We'll do 10 and then three. And then I think Perry was asking for five, edited in black and white. Is that right, Perry? Just let me know. Uh, but let's go ahead and do 10 next. So we've got this absolutely stunning image. The colors in this are gorgeous already, straight out of straight out of camera. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do actually is, let's bring up the exposure as usual, but I'm also, I'm noticing there's a lot of vignette here just around the edges. So I'm gonna go back into the essentials kit and I'm gonna use lens correction one. Uh, this will remove the vignette entirely and the distortion as well, whereas two will keep some and three will keep even more, but I'm gonna get rid of it entirely because there is a lot. And that just gives us a little bit of a, a more neutral starting point. So let's bring the exposure up somewhere around there. I think looks good. I'm happy with white balance. I'm not gonna play around with that. So let's have a little look. So AQ10 one, AQ10 two, one, two, and then AQ10 three, and AQ10 four. Now the black and white does look really nice on this, but I'm gonna go for a color edit just because I really like the colors in this shot. And mm, I think it could be two. Let's go for two. It's so gonna bring the exposure up a little bit more. And let's have a look at whether we're gonna pull or push. I think we're gonna pull a little tiny bit, not too much, just a little bit. So about 80, so about 20, uh, 20 lower than the default. So just a tiny little bit, just to lift the shadows there. And let's have a look, expired film tone. Yeah, let's go for that. I like the way that looks. I'm just gonna bring the exposure down a tiny little bit so we get a little bit of that kind of muted shadow look. Yeah, that looks really, really nice. And I think because it's quite a low light scene, I'm gonna go for pushed grain, which would emulate a uh, high speed film. And I'm really happy with that. This is the before and this is after, and there is the side by side. Super nice photo. So we've got that nice heavy grain there from the pushed grain. Uh, we've got the profile just pulled a tiny little bit just to lift the shadows. And then we've got the expired film tone, which is just crushing those shadows down here. 
and giving that really nice filmic look. All right, cool, we are rocking and rolling now. So what have we got? We've got three and then we've got five and then nine. Thank you so much for throwing the numbers in there. So anyone just join in? Welcome to the stream. Thank you for joining, I'm Liam. And we are editing with Quest 10, the latest release from the Archipelago Quest subscription series. If you're not already subscribed, you can get hold of this set and a bonus set of dust and scratch tools uh, if you sign up to Quest this month. Very, very exciting. At the end of the stream, we're also gonna be taking a look at next month's Quest set, which is an incredible, incredible set. This one's designed by Richard and it is something very, very special. So do stick around. We're also giving away one of these, as always, an Archipelago Quest mug. Um, so if you are here and you're interacting in the stream through the chat, you are in with a chance of winning one of these. So stick around, because we're gonna announce whoever's winning one of those at the end of the stream. So let's dive in, let's do three and then we'll do five and then nine. So, love this image. Super, super nice. Uh, 1 25th of a second. So it's got this nice motion blur here. Uh, it's super, super cool. So let's have a look. I'm gonna bring the exposure up with just a tiny little touch and I'm gonna add a little bit of warmth. Probably around about there. Let's take a look. So AQ10-1. Get those lovely greens behind the subject there. AQ10-2. Just get those cooler tones, uh, especially in the shadows. That actually looks really nice. And then we've got AQ10-3. And the black and white AQ10-4. It's a tough call, but I think I think it's going to be one for this one. And I think I'm going to push the film a little bit so I get a bit more contrast because it really suits this. And I'm going to definitely use expired film tone. Let's have a look. Yeah, let's go for a bit of a punchy edit with this. And let's go for pushed grain again as well because I think that definitely suits this subject. Here's the before. Here's the after. So we're getting a nice, punchy, contrasty edit there. Uh, we've got those filmic tones. I really, really like the way it's rendering the greens in the background. Yeah, Brooke says, blurry images have a sweet spot in my heart. Totally. I absolutely adore images with blur. There's some incredible photos, uh, or actually a, a couple of collections of photos that were posted um, in the Archipelago Facebook group um, earlier from Don. They're incredible. If you haven't already seen them, you need to go and check them out. There's lots of blurry images in there and they are beautiful. So definitely check those out if you haven't already. All right, cool. So that was, that was number three. Let's do number five. Cool, so I'm gonna bring the exposure up a little bit here. Definitely need some more warmth. Probably around about there. And let's take a look. So AQ10-1. AQ10-2, AQ10-3, and AQ10-4. Now usually for images with a lot of green in, I tend to lean towards AQ10-1 just because I really like the way it renders the greens. Uh, but you have got a lot of variety here. So we get these kind of quite strong, uh, slightly desaturated, but still quite strong greens in AQ10-1. AQ10-2, we get this kind of teal colored green, very desaturated, and then AQ10-4, even more desaturated but very very sort of soft um, toned green here but I usually tend to lean towards AQ10-1 for images with green so let's go for it I'm going to bring the exposure up a little bit more here and I think for this what I'm going to do because we've got quite harsh light and then very deep shadow in the background I'm just going to bring the highlights down a tiny little bit and then bring the exposure up a little bit more just to balance it out and that looks really beautiful to me so pull push let's have a little look yeah definitely pull I'm going to pull it all the way down um, it just, again, softens up the difference between the highlights and the shadows, so I really like that. And again, we, we can just push the exposure up a tiny little bit more now. So this is before and this is after. AQ10-1 with the profile set all the way to the left for pull. Uh, we could have a look at expired film tone. Oh yeah, definitely. 
Um, so a really nice combination actually. If you if you want an image that looks really really filmic, has that really faded kind of look. Um, if you combine the pull side of the profile, so drag it all the way to the left, and apply expired film tone, you get this really really kind of filmic look. Um, almost a little bit like uh, underexposed film, which is what expired film tends to tends to render like. So hence X film. Um, so this looks really, really nice. And I think, again, for this, we could go for pushed grain, um, or we could leave it default. Let's have a look. So this, this, is, um, this is the default grain. So it's gonna give me a second to render. So this is kind of a happy medium. We've then got pushed grain, which is a bit stronger. That's more rough. You can kind of see it a little bit more, which is that one. So there's the default and there's pushed grain. And then pulled grain is really, really fine. There's just a little bit of texture there. So if you want something that looks a little bit smoother, uh, less kind of gritty, pulled grain is a really good option, but you still get some texture um, in the image there. So I think actually for this, we could go for pulled grain. So just have that really soft look. It definitely suits the subject um, with her eyes closed and kind of the pose as well. So that looks really, really nice. Here's the before and after. So it totally transforms that one. Here's the side by side. Really, really nice. And then we can go ahead and zoom in. And let me just show you, this is a good example actually of what the profile is doing. So if we zoom in and then I'm gonna drag it all the way from the left, which is currently set to, to the right. So you can see just how much more dimension is brought into the face there. Just adds more contrast. But you can also see if you look at like the eyelashes, I don't know if it comes across on the stream, but if you look at like the eyelashes, you can just see more of that fine detail come through as well when you push uh, the profile all the way up. But for this, all just that really soft kind of look. So there we go. Okay, so what have we got next? I think it was nine after this. And then Brooke has said one, but I don't know if that's photo bath. No, we've done that already. That would have been preset one. Good choice, Brooke, because that's what I went with. Um, the mood it creates is amazing. Thank you, Cara. Yes, it definitely does. So pretty, Carla. Thank you. Crystal, stunning. Brooke, gorgeous. Thank you so much, everyone. Such beautiful photos that we're getting to edit here as well. So definitely helps. Uh, let's take a look at nine then. So we've got this really nice couple shot here. Look at this, really, really nice mood. I don't know if this is mist or if it's just like a diffusion uh, filter on the lens, but I really like this kind of uh, moody feel along the top here. Uh, so I'm gonna add a little bit of warmth, not, not tons, but a little bit just to kind of balance out the skin tones. Yeah, maybe about there. Uh, exposure probably looks good, but we'll find out after we apply the preset. Let's have a little look though. AQ10 1. Look at that. Boom. Super nice. Again, we've got those greens in the background, so works wonders on greens. Uh, AQ10 2, I think it's going to work really well with this because we get the, we've got the blues in the dress there, and it sort of retains those blues really nicely. Gives us a cooler toning in the greens, so it just kind of brings a bit of unity to the to, to the colors in this image. So I think this could be the one. AQ10 3, that does look really nice though as well. We're getting a little bit of that magenta uh, into the highlights there, which definitely looks nice. AQ10 for the black and white, super, super nice. So I could be, I could go either way. It could be two or it could be three. I'll let you decide, throw it in the chat. AQ10 2 or AQ10 3. Which one do you think? This is three and this is two. Brooke says three, one vote for three. They all look perfect. <laughs> uh, Crystal likes two, Perry likes two. Okay, so two's winning. Three has my heart. Oh, crikey, this is gonna be a draw. Come on, who's gonna push it over the edge? How would you explain the differences between this Quest set and full set? Uh, Cara, so if you're talking about the full set of X film presets, um, so these are actually, these are different. So the, the, the four presets in this are all different to the presets that you get in X film. So if you get the full set of X film, you're not overlapping in any way. These are an extension of that set. So you're gonna get uh, four additional presets, uh, completely different to the ones that are in X film. And you're also gonna get a new profile as well. Super 
so let's have a little look. I think uh, it was two winning, let's have a look. It's, it's a draw, but I'm gonna go with two, let's go with two. So let's bring the exposure up a little bit here. I'm just gonna bring the warmth up a tiny touch now that we've got this preset on. Think about that, and actually I think a tiny touch more magenta in the tint as well, just to kind of make the skin tones nice and natural. Yeah, that looks good to me. So here's the before, here's after. Let's take a look at the pull push profile. So if you pull it or if you push it, I think actually in the middle looks pretty good. Maybe push it a tiny little bit. And then let's have a look at the expired film tone. Yeah, I'm not gonna use it on this. I think I really like the way that it's looking without. Uh, and we'll go for, we'll leave the default grain I think as well because that looks like a happy medium. So here's before and here's after. This is with AQ10 2. Really like the way it's rendering the blues in the dress there. Yeah, super nice. Here's the side by side. Cool, so I'm just gonna quickly switch back to this view because my second screen has stopped working on me so I can't see your comments. So just give me one moment while I reconnect it. Here we go, there we go, that's better. So let me catch up. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. We'll go three. Cool, so Darcy says five. We already did five, so that's done. Nice, cool. All right, cool, so what is next? Let's have a little look. Uh, so I think I think someone asked for something, but I can't remember what. No, I don't see it. If you, if you ask for an image next, let me know which one you wanna see. We've still got two, four, six, eight, and that's it, two, four, six, and eight. So throw it in the chat, what do you wanna see next? Two, four, six, or eight. Six says Perry, six says Brooke. Thank you so much. Let's do six next then. Alrighty, Crystal says eight. So we'll do six and then eight, wonderful. So let's dive into six. This is a really nice image here. So I think we don't need to increase the exposure or anything like that here, but I do want to add a little bit more warmth just because it is a bit of a deserty kind of vibe. And let's take a look. So AQ10 one, look at that, super nice. AQ10 2, AQ10 3, and AQ10 4. Now it could be swayed by a black and white because that does look really nice, but I think one is stealing the show for this one. So let's take a look at this. Uh, and yeah, let's push that up. Maybe not all the way, but about here, about 150. This is before, this is after. That's with AQ10 1, and with the prof profile increased to 150. Uh, expired film tone does look nice because we just kind of uh, yeah let's go for it we kind of push the highlights here we get this kind of really filmic look where the highlights are kind of pushed um, and then we'll go for pulled grain just so we get a bit, a bit of a softer look and that looks super nice let's give it a second to render there's the before and there's after, that's with AQ10-1, with the profile increased to 150, and then pulled grain. It's a really subtle, nice texture. You can kind of see it in the, um, any areas where it's just got kind of a, a little bit of open expanse, just get a really nice texture from the pulled grain. So let's go ahead and use one of the dust and scratches on this as well. And let's see, what should we go for? We could go for eight maybe. So this is where my computer is gonna cry at me because I'm live streaming while screen recording. And then using the uh, the dust and scratch set, which is 
a little bit more intense, but this looks really nice. So we get this uh, really nice sort of scratch down the top here. We get a little scratch here. And if we go ahead and zoom in, you can kind of see just the dust and things that we get along the edges. So again, just gives that really nice uh, texture to the image. Nice bit of nostalgia if you like that kind of look. Um, each, each bit of this um, dust, each scratch was all hand drawn. Um, so it's a really kind of accurate representation of real dust on film scans. So that looks super nice. So there's the, there's the before and there's the after. And side by side as well. Nice, so Carla says, I've been loving the new set. Had a session in Full Sun and loved using number three, preset number three. Yeah, this set definitely works well with Full Sun, um, especially with the profile when you can pull, which lifts the shadows and brings down the highlights. That can really help with uh, harsh light. Um, it tends to work quite well with backlit images as well. So if you've got a subject that's backlit, it does quite a good job of lifting the shadows uh, and bringing out the subject there as well. Oh, nice. Also saying that it prints up nicely as well. So that's good to know. Amazing. So we said eight next. This is an incredible image. I'm surprised it took this long to choose this one because I think this is such an awesome image. So let's go ahead and increase the exposure. And it definitely needs a little bit more warmth in there. Somewhere around about there. Yeah, that looks good to me. So AQ10 one, looking incredible. AQ10 two. AQ10 3 and AQ10 4. Uh, maybe it's maybe it's got to be black and white on this. I mean, the colors look really nice as well, but I don't think it's just because of the texture in like all of what their outfit and kind of the the jewelry and stuff. But I th just think the black and white looks so good on this. Yeah, I'm doing it. Let's go black and white. So AQ10 4. Uh, we can pull. Or we can push. I'm going to go for a little bit of a push on the profile so about 130 so not not too much bring the exposure up a tiny little bit let's take a look at the expired film tone so relatively subtle on this but actually i think i like it as it is and let's go for pushed grain so we get that nice uh, rough grain in here so here's the before and here's after there's the side by side Super nice. Love that. Incredible image from Rebecca. Okay, so we have got two and four left. So let's just do them in that order. Once we've done these, we will uh, we'll potentially be taking a sneak peek at next month's quest set. So. If you want to see that do let me know but let's take a look at this image here image number two so let's go ahead and bring up the exposure a tiny little bit and definitely need quite a bit more warmth in this probably somewhere around there so aq10 one that's looking incredible so you can see here we've got this really sort of harsh light we've got kind of a, a real hot spot of light coming in the side here and then we've got this shadow down at the bottom and on his this side of his face as well but you just see the way it sort of flattens that out and just brings a nice amount of uh, balance to the image so that's aq10 one aq10 two so we shift across to a little bit more of a cooler tone aq10 three and aq10 four and i think it's i think it's gonna be one i just really like the way tones are rendering so AQ10 one and I'm pretty sure I'm going to pull the profile let's have a look yeah I'm gonna go for a pull just because it just gives a little bit more a little bit more detail in the shadows but I'm gonna bring the exposure down a tiny little bit there so we sort of retain the shadows and we don't blow out any of the highlights on this side uh, expired film tone, yep, that's happening. I love the way that looks. Let's go for pushed grain again, that's looking good. And 
let's do it. Why don't we go for a quest? Tools 03, Dust and Scratches. This is DNS 10. This one is one of the more dramatic ones from the set. So you get this kind of uh, really kind of deep scratches on the bottom. Uh, and then we've got lots and lots of dust all the way around the image. I think that looks really cool on this one. Here's before and here's after. Super, super nice. There's the side by side. And if we go ahead and zoom in at the top here, you can see when it renders. Give it a second. There we go. You can see the dust that gets added. Um, this is actually multiple layers as well. So what you're going to find is some of the dust is sort of really sharp and some of it is a bit more blurry. Again, this is exactly what you'd expect from a film scan. So you get a really nice amount of depth there. Such a cool um, thing to have directly in Lightroom, not needing to open your image in Photoshop and apply an overlay and then save it back. You know, non-destructive editing, you can go in, remove this at any point. So, you know, if you wanted to have an image with the dust and scratches on, um, for your blog, let's say, but then you wanted to print it and you didn't want to have the scratches and dust on there, you can just remove those, uh, send it for print, and then re-add them later. So it makes it super, super easy. Love that, looks super cool. Okay, so last image, number four. So let's do a very quick horizon straighten. We'll use auto for that. And we're gonna add a little bit more warmth. Somewhere around there. AQ Town 1 again, working the magic. I really like this one for any sort of beachy scenes just because of the warm toning in it. It definitely suits that kind of coastal look. The warm, sandy tones. AQ Town 2, retaining some of the blues in the sky and in the water there as well. So that's a nice look. AQ Town 3, kind of gives a little bit more of that sort of warm evening light magenta tone in aq104 again black and white looking super cool i think oh i don't know i don't know i don't know let's go for one on this and i'm gonna go ahead and yeah let's push let's add a bit more contrast into it i'm not going to do expired film tone but let's do pulled grains nice soft grain and let's do dust and scratches nine so nice and subtle, we just see a little bit of that down here and then up in the sky, we've got some dust um, or fibers there as well. Yeah, Carla says three is great for evening light. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. The magenta toning in the highlights in three really, really suits that kind of um, late evening, like blue hour sort of light or early morning. Boom, there we go. So that is all 10 images edited with Quest 10. Thank you for sticking around. It's a great pleasure to have you here. So if you want to see a little bit of a sneak peek at next month's Quest set, let me know now. Throw something in the chat and I might just give you a cheeky sneak peek at Quest 11. And while we're doing that, the team will be selecting someone to win this incredible mug. Not this one, this one's mine. You're not having this, but one of these. Um, someone will be winning one of these in a few moments time. And the voice is back. Claire, did my voice go? What happened? Did it cut out? Well, at least we're back. Oh, here we go. Yes, yes. Yes, please, to the sneak peek. All right, okay. I can hear you loud and clear. So it is going to be a sneak peek. I've got one image. I'm going to show you the full set on this one image. There's a little taster and sneak peek of what's to come. So we've got this incredibly gorgeous image. Another one from Rebecca. Her work's just absolutely incredible. So let's go ahead and increase the exposure a little bit here. Somewhere around that looks good to me. I'm gonna bring the warmth up, I think about there looks good. Okay, so Archipelago Quest 11. You might have seen it lurking up at the top of the screen over here. So this set, as I said, is, uh, is designed by Richard. 
Uh, it's an incredible set and it emulates the look of instant film. So if you're someone that loves the look of Fuji Instax or Polaroid, any of those instant films, you're gonna absolutely love this set. It's got bags and bags of character, super, super nice. Um, it's, a, it's a bit of a bonus set as well because you're getting quite a lot in here. So we've got four of the main instant film presets and then we've also got um, AQ11 5 in two different variants as well. Um, and on top of that, we've even got some tools in there. So this is an incredible set. This is coming as part of the Quest subscription series next month. So if you sign up now to Quest, if you're not already signed up, you can download Quest 10 and the Dust and Scratches straight away as part of your subscription for $8. And then if you stick around at the start of next month, you're also going to be able to get Archipelago Quest 11. So let's take a look at this set. Starting off with AQ11 1. And look at that. I am obsessed with this set. It's so, so nice. One click and it just completely transforms the image. Getting those really, really gorgeous tones, that softness that you get from instant film. Loads of grain as well. Lots of excitement in the chat. I'm loving it. So AQ10, uh, sorry, AQ11 too. Bit of a warmer look. Again, that really nice haziness. AQ11 3. Got some nice blue tone in the highlights there. And just look at that transformation. Incredible. That's one click of the preset. Super, super nice. AQ11 4. A bit more of a magenta tone in. Really, really nice skin tones in this one as well. And then we have AQ11 5, which is a vintage film uh, bone that comes in two variants. So vintage film one. And this is really, really cool. Um, you can't see it as well on this image, but it has little bands of light that run down the top and bottom um, of the image. So as soon as you apply the preset, you get these kind of bands of light, uh, which is really, really similar to instant film, especially like Polaroid, where you get these kind of light leaks that form in little bands. Um, so that's super, super cool. And then AQ11.5 Vintage Film 2. And again, you've got that banding, slightly different sort of styles. This is one, this is two. And uh, Vintage Film 1 actually has a different profile to the rest of the set as well, which I'll show you in just a moment. And then we've got some film effect borders as well. So let me show you those in a moment. So I'll go ahead and edit with one of the instant film uh, presets. And I think for this, I'm digging AQ11 2. So let's go for that. You can see we've got the instant film profile. That's set to 100 as default. So we can either decrease that and we get a little bit more of kind of a, a punchy, uh, more modern look, or we can add more of that instant film look, really soften it up, really bloom those highlights and give more of that instant film look. So I'm gonna leave that set to 100. And let me show you the, uh, the film border effects. So we've got three of these film border effects. This is film border effect one which looks absolutely gorgeous. Get this kind of uh, white sort of bloom effect around the edge of the image. Very reminiscent of instant film. Film effect border two. We get the reverse of that. We get the darkening around the edges. And then my personal favorite, and I absolutely love this one. It looks so cool. Film border, film effect border three, which has these really sort of hard lines, but with these rounded corners. Super, super cool. I love this, the way this looks. And then let's take a look at the Vintage Film Bonus preset. So this is Vintage Film 1. And this one actually has, like I said, a different profile. We've got Instant Film Light Leak. So you'll actually notice on the right and left of the image here, we have this sort of like um, magenta, kind of peachish, uh, hazing and that's actually the light leak profile so if we increase that you can see the light leak coming in the edges there so you can increase or decrease that and then we've got the film 
Vintage Film 2. And this is what I'm gonna edit this one with. Uh, so I'm gonna go for this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and apply, uh, let's have a little, little play with the Instant Film profile. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it where it was. And then I'm gonna apply Film Effect Border 3. So we've got these really nice rounded corners. And if we wanna go for the extreme of the kind of um, Instant Film look, of course we have to go for a one-to-one -one ratio the square crop because that's what instant film historically is with polaroids things like that so we can go ahead and press the r key to get into the crop and the really cool thing with these um with these borders is they actually adapt um to the shape of the image so if i go ahead and go for a one-to-one -one crop on this you can see the film borders adapt to suit this image so i'm going to go ahead and get that where i want it and there we go Let's zoom out look at that super super nice and why not, let's go ahead and put a dust and scratches on there as well. Uh, let's go for DNS 06 maybe. Give that a whirl. Yeah, that's looking good. We're getting these scratches down in the bottom here. Uh, actually, let's layer it. Let's put three on there as well. Yeah, super nice. So if I go ahead and zoom in on this, you can see we've got these uh, Dust and scratches across the image here. We've got this really nice extra rough grain that comes with these presets. Gorgeous toning. So, so filmic looking. So here's before and here's after. And that's using Quest 11 next month's Quest set, which is an instant film emulation set. We've used the film border effect that comes with it, the instant film profile, and we've also applied some dust and scratches from this month's tool set. I'm sure you'll agree, absolutely incredible. So that's all you get in as a sneak peek. I'm sure you're very, very excited for the first of next month now. It's one of the benefits of uh, working for Archipelago is I get to play with these all month long, not to rub it in, but not too long to wait, I promise. Absolutely, Cara, December can't get here fast enough. I agree. Not that we're wishing away our time, but when it comes to uh, new presets, I think, uh, I think it's fine to do that. Amazing, so we're coming towards the end of the stream now. Thank you so much for sticking around. We will be announcing a winner for the Archipelago Quest mug shortly. Just as a reminder for anyone that hasn't already heard, we also recently released the Archipelago Quest Explorer pack. This is a set of presets that you can purchase from the Archipelago Presets store. And it's a great sample of what Quest has to offer. So if you're not quite ready to dive in, you kind of want to see what Quest is all about before you subscribe, um, you can actually buy this set from the Archipelago Preset Store. You get Quest 3, Preset 2, Quest 5, Preset 2, and Quest 10, Preset 3, uh, along with three profiles. You also get the Lens FX06 as well. So a real kind of uh, mix of the different presets that are available in Quest. So if you want to try those first, you can do that. And I'm sure when you see the amazing quality, you're going to want to sign up for eight dollars each month so there we go drum roll you've all been amazing as lisa says random selection and crystal and cara you both win one of these incredible mugs well done congratulations thank you to everyone for joining it's been an incredible stream had so much fun we do these at least once every month so do make sure you join again if you can next time around and we'll be giving away more quest mugs of course um, but thank you so much for joining and I'll see you again very, very soon.